is science fair time again. And if you're looking for some ideas, who better to ask than our science guy, Steve Spangler? Gary, hold yeah. on to that. Don't worry about yeah. it. A baby bottle. This is hmm. Mr. Wizard's, the original Mr. Wizard's favorite science fair project. Okay. Now, it was never really a science fair project. It was just to see how much gas is trapped in two tablets of alcohol. Got an alka seltzer in there. A long time ago, they used to have baby bottle nipples without the hole. Isn't it funny? And so kids would figure out how much gas is and in too much is... tablets of, uh, of alka seltzer. It's a little weird. We are answering phones right now, and uh, this is a whole lot. Here's the problem. Nice. Is that you can't nice. give people this stuff. Very nice. Hold on. So, okay, give me that, that's gonna explode. Oh, okay. Here, here's the problem, in the midst of all the fun, uh, we, we have to try to teach some science at the same time. I guess that's the <laughs> idea, that isn't it? <laughs> so people are calling in right now, they're saying, hey, my kid's got a science fair project to sign. By no means do we want a science fair with tears. Right. There's no reason I to be able to do that. That's, no, but sometimes parents think that this is a difficult thing to do. It's not a difficult thing to do. We put together a guide for okay. everybody. We put together videos, we put the top 10 science fair projects that our office gets calls on over the last 20 years. Nice. We put that all at sciencefair101.com. So okay. it's easy to kind of remember, sciencefair101.com. But if you call in, we're going to answer some of your questions just right here live and, and hopefully just give you that little tip that you need to take this to the best one ever. So many ideas and you don't have to spend a ton of money to do a science fair project, right? Not at all. The yeah. hardest part is to turn a demonstration, like throwing toilet paper all over the place is not yeah. a science fair project. <laughs> but I can tell you that it really turned into a STEM project, science, technology, engineering, math, and we created a project because we had to find the best way to shoot the toilet paper. Uh -huh. Those television show producers on the Ellen Show said, "Do 60 rolls, and you've got 15 seconds." That was a that's that's the project, right? So we had to use a little engineering. We definitely had to work in the lab and try to figure out how to do it. And as silly as that might be, it actually became a science fair project because we had to have that critical thinking element that was there with it fair. as well. So the email when you call us and uh, you go to sciencefair101.com, we're going to send you an email not only with this great report that talks about how to do a science fair, but links to those videos. Nice. So you can just browse through, and that's the easiest thing for a parent to do sometimes, yeah. is to just browse through the videos. Some of these videos are no more than 60 seconds, so it gives you an idea, and then you say, how do I dig deeper, count, compare, classify, right. observe, measure, do some real science. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right. Do.